In this video, we're going to look at how to simplify expressions. So the first question says, simplify 4x plus xy plus 5, subtract 2x, subtract 3xy plus 6. So our like terms, well, have, let's have a look and see what our like terms are. Well, we've got our 4x and we have got our minus 2x. We have also got our plus xy minus 3xy. And finally, we have got our plus 5 plus 6. So they're like terms. We've got our x's, xy's, and our numbers. So let's then simplify this expression. So let's start off by looking at our x's. We've got 4x's take away 2x's. Well, 4x take away 2x would be 2x. Then we've got our xy subtract 3xy's. Well, 1xy take away 3xy's would leave you with minus 2xy's. So that'll be take away 2 xy. And then you've got 5 plus 6, which would be 11. So the answer would be 2x subtract 2xy plus 11. Let's have a look at our next example. In our next example, we've got 4x squared minus 5x plus 5 subtract 3x squared plus 2x minus 9. So our like terms are x squared, our x's, and our numbers. So let's start off by looking at the x squared. 4x squared take away 3x squared. Well, 4x squared take away 3x squared would be 1x squared, or you just write x squared. Then we've got our minus 5x plus 2x. Well, minus 5 plus 2 is uh, minus 3. So minus 5x plus 2x would be minus 3x. And finally, we've got our 5 take away 9. Well, 5 take away 9 is minus 4. So our answer would be x squared minus 3x minus 4. And finally, our last example. This question says simplify. 4 bracket ax, or 4 bracket a squared plus b, subtract 2 bracket 5a squared minus 3b. So let's exp expand our brackets first of all. So that would give you 4 times a squared would be 4a squared, and 4 times b would be plus 4b. And then we've got our minus 2 times 5a squared. Well, minus 2 times 5 is minus 10. So it would be minus 10a squared. And be careful here. Minus 2 times minus 3b. Well, minus 2 times minus 3 would be plus 6b. So let's simplify. We've got 4a squared take away 10a squared. Well, 4a squared take away 10a squared would be minus 6a squared. Then we've got 4b plus 6b. Well, 4b plus 6b would be 10b, so it'd be plus 10b. So our answer would be minus 6a squared plus 10b. Also remember, this could be written in a slightly different format. You could write the 10b first of all to get 10b subtract 6a squared. Both of these would be acceptable answers.